Hi, this is Matt from Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're looking at Cinematic Guitars Ultra from Sample Logic. It's currently on offer from Audio Plugin Deals, so let's take a look at it. Cinematic Guitars is Sample Logic's second instrument to use their new Ultra engine. The first one, Ultra Sphere, was released a couple months ago, and I absolutely love that thing. Ultrasphere, however, was more for cinematic landscapes. However, we now have cinematic guitars. And as I said, it uses the same proprietary engine, which means that you don't need contact, you don't need anything else. It is all self-contained within the Ultra engine itself that obviously comes with cinematic guitars. So first up, an overview of the engine itself, and then I'll demonstrate some presets. So essentially, it's split into four cores. So you have core one, two, three and four in each of these quadrants. And then in the middle, you have an X, Y axis. So as you can see here with the crosshairs in the center, that is playing all samples evenly, subject obviously to the volume parameters here. However, if I was to move it to the top right, for example, it is now only playing sample two, bottom right, and it's only playing sample four, etc. But then what you can do, you can then draw in some automation like so. And then we play this back. And now it is playing back this automation. Into each one of these engines, you can load an individual source sound, and there are 22 gig of those, or 31,000 files. So let's load Acoustic Folk Ensemble. And then once we've done that, we can define the key range. So we can have it start, let's say from C3, and then end all the way at C7. And that is represented down here. So you can see this darker color blue now starts at C3, as represented by this start note. Or if I increase it, you can see this blue line get smaller and smaller. So at the moment, it's only playing C6 to C7. Essentially, the way to do a split keyboard setup. Similarly to this, you can define the frequency range that each of these four quadrants occupy. So if you look above the keyboard, you have these four bars. And the first one, which is obviously sample one, that is playing the full frequency range. So when I play this back, I'm just going to solo the first one, maximize the range again. So as you can see, it's playing the full frequency range. However, if I turn this up, then now it's only playing the mid. And now only the highs. So if I was to unmute the others, I can have sample one just play the highs and all the rest just plays the lows, for example, like so. really adds a load of flexibility when designing a patch. However, if we wish to edit this sound more than these basic parameters allow, we can click on the individual core, and now we can edit all these other attributes that you would typically find in a conventional synth. So you have ADSRs, filters, filter envelopes, as an FM mentioned also, four FX sends, and then the EQ down the bottom here. We have also tremolo, vibrato, and unison modes. And if we go to the mod section, we have 10 modulation sources that can be drag and dropped to any of these parameters here. So currently tremolo is on LFO 1. Let's change this to LFO 6. And that's just a case of dragging it down like so. Or we can edit it by clicking on it and then modifying it accordingly. Currently it's set to gate up here. We can choose one of the predefined patterns like so. Or we can select something more conventional, for example, a sign. Change the rate accordingly. So let's go 1 16th. It also features a sequencer section with two ARPs and a chords mode. And then moving on from that, we have the effects section, which features both send effects, as I mentioned earlier, and also master effects. Within here, we have quite a selection. So I'm not going to read them all out, but you can see it's a selection of delays, reverbs, distortion, bit crushing, lo-fi, all of which sound all of which sound really good. Well, let's say you've been through all that and you can't find the sound that you want, nothing's really working, or you're not inspired for whatever reason, then simply come up here and click the randomize button and we can either randomize the preset or we can randomize the cores themselves. So first let's randomize the preset. And as you can see, it's chosen now moving destiny. Or if we do it again, we have a digger bar master. Or now we have trickle down, or instead of that, we can randomize each of the cores. So currently we have all four cores highlighted, as in they have color on them. So if we click random, you can see each of these four cores randomize. So now this one says Mustang Bass, Thunderhawk, do it again, Music Man, Metal and Palm Mute. Or let's say we really like one and two, 
distorting evader and music man so we want to keep them locked so let's unselect core one and core two and then randomize again and then three and four have now been randomized given the sheer number of sounds involved you need an intelligent way to search them all and that's where the ultra engine search engine really comes into its own so if i click on the preset menu at the top then we have these selections here so let's say we want something that is let's go fast motion and then we also want it arpeggiated so now we have these short lists over here. Blossom Symphony. As you can see, they sound epic. So enough talking, let's listen to some of the sounds. Let's take off the arpeggiated and fast motion. Let's try something like spatial, maybe. I really like that pitch layer on it. Let's try something from the pulsing category now. They just sound so good, love them. And so much variety here also.
Let's try deep low end. Let's take off the pulsing category. So it's only deep low end. Let's try maybe something from the bowed category. Space dust, that sounds interesting. Paradigm shift. Oh, loving that. That could be my favorite so far. Let's go metallic. Take off bowed. So obviously I can't go through them all because there are hundreds. I think they're just shy of 400. But hopefully that's given you an insight into how good they all sound and just how flexible this Ultra engine is. And obviously just to reiterate, you're not confined to the presets. You can load in any one of the 31,000 samples here and then create your own patches by mixing and matching each of these four core engines. It's currently on offer from Audio Plugin Deals. And if you need an atmospheric cinematic guitar sound in your life, then I think you'll really be hard pressed to find something better than this. So go check it out and I'll be back with something else shortly. See you then. Bye.